Hello again, mathematicians, and welcome to tutorial number three for this Desmos project on how to make images move. This will be the longest and most important tutorial for your project as you learn how to incorporate different functions to make your images do what you want them to do. So what you want to do is brainstorm, you know, the scene that you want with some action. And so we have our can of tuna here from the last, uh, from the last video. We're going to import some more images. I decided I'm going to have a chef uh, who's going to be presenting the can of tuna. So here's a picture of my chef. And who is he going to be presenting that to? Well, next we have uh, Mr. Irving. So he was hungry and in need of a nice can of tuna. So we're going to have the chef who will have uh, let's have the chef come in from the side. We'll have him fly in here and then present this can of tuna to Mr. Irving. So notice a couple things. One, I'm trying to click on the can of tuna, but I keep getting the chef. So a way to get around this is if you go to your sidebar menu and click on the image here. If you highlight this image, or actually, you know what? It looks like you got to move them away. Click off. And then, yeah, if you click up here near the words, it'll highlight that image. If I want the tuna, I click down here near these words, and it'll highlight that image. So let's get everything in size order. Let's get the tuna. And we want the tuna to be approximately here. And we want the chef to fly in from the side. And then we'll have the tuna uh, come on a nice parabola and move uh, toward Mr. Irving who will be very happy and maybe go up and down like that. All right, so how do we make this happen using Desmos? First thing is you need to add functions that depict the movement that you want. If we want our chef moving side to side, a side to side horizontal line is simply a constant function like this, f of x equals three, two, or four. I'm gonna let that be two. Okay, so now I wanna attach my chef to this function. And the way you're gonna do that is click on the picture, go to here where it says center, and you're gonna use a new parameter, a new variable like C, and then you're gonna add slider C. Then go back to the chef coordinates, and you want the center to be C comma F of C. What this does is it means that my chef is going to move according to function F, and the input is C. And C is this thing called a slider. That allows it to change, which allows my chef to move back and forth. So where do we want him to go? Well, we want him to go right about there. So from the left side of the screen, and we want him to go here and stop. Um, but if I press play, notice he keeps going. So how do we remedy this? Well, you can adjust your sliders by clicking in the negative 10 here and this looks like domain and range that you've seen before. So we want our chef to go from negative 10 and then only about uh, to negative five. And let's see how that does. So we have our chef moving in right there. And that's good. You can also change up when you're playing, you can change the speed and the direction. So this puts it on loop. If we want our chef to go a little bit faster, that would be fine. So we have our chef coming in, and then now let's go to the tuna. We want this to fly in a parabola um, over to Mr. Irving. So let's make a new function, call it something different like g of x, and we want an upside down parabola, so I'm gonna use negative x squared. I'll just start with plus 10. Okay, there's a parabola, and it doesn't quite match the shape I want, so I might widen it by lowering the a value or making it closer to zero. And that's pretty good. Maybe I don't want this quite as high up. So you can adjust the parameters as needed. You can use vertex form, any form of a parabola that you find fitting. And then now you go to the can of tuna and you're gonna choose a different letter now instead of C. Um, you want him to move along, let's say D, add slider D, and then the output will be f of d. I'm sorry, not f of d because it's function g. We want to use g of d. And now that'll allow the image to latch on to this g function. But we only want it to go from about here 
to here. So I'm going to change my slider values to negative 3.8 and we'll go to positive 3.8. So we play it, we see our tuna. That's right there, presented to Mr. Irving, just as you want it. So the way you will run your story, or the run your scene, is you'll have um, some instructions. So you'll say play slider, the chef runs in from the left, you'll pause, play the tuna, pause, and then lastly we wanted uh, Mr. Irving to move around a little bit to show that he's happy to be presented with this can of tuna. So let's add one more function. Uh, h of x, and let's say we want him to kind of just uh, jump up and down like this. We'll make it on a little bit of a slant, so that's going to be a line with a negative slope, but a pretty steep one like negative 10x. Um, but I want it to be over here, so you might have to think about how to uh, get this line to be over here, and you're going to need a pretty tall y-intercept. 100 is a little too much, plus 80. And then you can picture the screen here, this line, if it goes all the way up, it's gonna hit at 80, the y-intercept. And that's about how we want it to move. So then we'll just go to uh, Mr. Irving's picture. We have, we use C, we use D, let's use E. Oh, they're, they're not liking E, so let's use F. Oh, they don't like F either. Uh, let's try A. Add slider A. You might have to fool around with the letters to get the one that works. And you see, I did F of A again. That's not right because we don't want them to move on the F function. We want them to move on the H function. Um, and then if we go to our slider, so we have A comma H of A. If you go to our slider for A, here it is. So you can only see them for this little sliver. So if we want to mess with this out here, notice the domain is very narrow. It's about, we want them to be at, about 7.8 to 7.5. That's all we want him to, to mess between. So I'm going to put uh, this at 7.5 to 7.8. And let's see how he moves. Speed it up a little bit so it looks like he's jumping up and down because he's happy from the tuna. Okay. So to play our full scene, if I unclick the functions to make it look a little nicer, we have, just rewind everything. Let's start him here. All right, first we have a chef coming in to present a can of tuna to Mr. Irving, who sees the tuna and is very happy. You'll have to practice pausing it at the right levels, um, but this Desmos tutorial should get you started in making functions move according to the movement that you want. Notice I only use two types of functions. I used a linear and a quadratic, but for your project, um, you have to use at least three. So think about how to incorporate exponentials, radicals, or other types. In the next video, we'll look at how to make a background, and then in the final tutorial, we'll look at how to organize your page. Thanks for watching tutorial number three.